Uh, please remember to remain uh, muted uh, during the presentation. Uh, questions during the presentation can be typed in chat and we will answer at the end of presentation once we have opened things for questions. Uh, the presentation is being recorded. So uh, this committee meeting is uh, for the Fossil Creek Boulevard uh, Street Rehabilitation Project. Um, my name is Salman Shahid and I will be the project manager for this project. Uh, so uh, just for a, uh, a little intro about the project, who is involved. Uh, uh, my name is Salman Shahid. Again, I'm, I'm the project manager and uh, Matthew Wilson would be the city inspector for this project. And uh, McMahon Contracting is the uh, um, uh, signed contractor for, for this job. Uh, total cost for the construction is approximately $3.3 million. And project is anticipated to start on March 22nd, 2021, and expected to be completed in November 2021. So the plan work we uh, we are having is like uh, doing the curbs, uh, replacing curbs and uh, gutters, and it will be selected ones which which needs to be improved, uh, replaced. We'll uh, replace those curbs and gutters, and mainly the project is about the roadway. Uh, we'll be uh, uh, replacing the uh, concrete uh, panels, uh, the damaged panels around, and uh, since this project is not about the sidewalks, but we we just saw a little bit of little bit of portion of a sidewalk, which was damaged. Uh, so we thought we should include uh, that small portion of that too in, in this project. So the project uh, schedule uh, is divided into two phases. Uh, in phase one, uh, the contractor would be uh, working on uh, the Fossil Creek from I-35 service road all the way to the North Riverside Drive. And the expected construction construction duration for this phase is from March uh, to June 2021. And then uh, I'll move to the uh, phase two, which would be uh, Fossil Creek from North Riverside Drive all the way to North Beach Street. And we expect to start uh, on that phase on in June, uh, which will go all the way to November 2021. So this is how the project uh, limits look like. Uh, if you see uh, the left side is uh, the phase uh, uh, one and the right side is the phase two. Um, so phase one is from uh, I-35 all the way to uh, North Riverside Drive. And we'll, we'll be reconstructing almost everything, uh, all the panels in this uh, section. And uh, going from North Riverside Drive to North P Street, which is phase two, uh, we'll be selecting all only the damaged portion of the road, and we'll be replacing the panels that are uh, damaged, and uh, uh, we'll replace them all, uh, which needs to be replaced. So this is the existing condition of the uh, of the road. Uh, as I said earlier, this is not a sidewalk project, but we uh, uh, saw a little bit of portion which was totally damaged. And it's just like a couple of panels, uh, three, four panels over here that we are going to be replacing with this project. Uh, that's uh, you, can, you can see on the left side. And on the right side, this is a road, Fossil Creek Boulevard. You can see all the cracks. Uh, you can see the damaged curb uh, on the right and uh, cracks all over. And in the center also, you, you can see a big gap, uh, which is widening up and the cracks are being widened up. Uh, so we're going to replace uh, all these panels and uh, reconstruct uh, uh, this whole uh, thing. Uh, similarly, uh, you can see over here, there are uh, big cracks, uh, water standing around. Uh, so this is the existing condition uh, uh, on the Fossil Creek. Uh, it's a really rough ride on the road and uh, uh, the cracks are growing bigger and the bumps are too much. Uh, so we're going to be replacing those and making it a more smoother ride. 
So what to expect uh, after the construction or during the construction? So this is something uh, we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking off uh, panel by panel, uh, and we uh, we're going to be putting uh, uh, the steel bars and then replacing it with the uh, fresh concrete. Uh, so in the picture, you can see uh, the section being removed and uh, being replaced uh, by the, the fresh concrete. So this is what you're going to be expecting. So the portion uh, where we'll be replacing just the panels uh, on the picture on the left, you can see uh, there's a existing road and uh, one of the uh, two of the panels actually are replaced. And so this is how the section where we'll be replacing just a uh, few panels. Uh, it will be looked like something like that after the construction is done. Uh, and on the picture on the right, you can see uh, how uh, the whole section looks like when it's rebuilt. So uh, from I-35 all the way to uh, North Riverside Drive, you'll see pretty much something like the picture on the right, which is uh, all new concrete throughout. So during the construction, uh, you know that uh, every construction have uh, impact uh, to the resident uh, living around. Uh, so you'll be expected to see uh, equipments around. Uh, you'll see uh, dirt or noise. You, you'll hear noise, uh, and you'll also be uh, impact a little bit be impacted by the traffic diversion. You'll see a lot of. Um, uh, lane closures uh, around the construction area. So we are we are trying our best to minimize these impacts, and for that uh, we've uh, we are emphasizing a lot on the communication. Uh, we are uh, we will be uh, communicating throughout the construction uh, phase to the resident, and we'll be sending up the notices. And if there's anything going on, and uh, resident needs to be notified for that. Uh, we'll be sending out notices uh, for that during the construction. And you, uh, we'll also be putting up this uh, signage and traffic divergence uh, notices ahead so that uh, uh, people or the resident would know uh, what to expect uh, during the construction for their time period. Our regular uh, working hours are Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, but in some circumstances, if required, we'll be uh, granting uh, uh, permission to contractor for working on weekends. Uh, but uh, as I said, that's all uh, based on if, if it required. Um, so regularly, it would be Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So this is my contact information. Uh, if you have any questions uh, after the meeting or during the construction uh, time, you can contact me. My name is Salman Shahid. My phone number is 817-392-7968. My email address is salman.shahid at fortworthtexas.gov. Uh, now, if you have any questions, uh, please go ahead. Um, if you have any questions, I don't see anything on the chat box. Uh, if you if you'd like to unmute yourself and ask a question, please go ahead. All right, uh, looks like we don't have any uh, questions. Uh, again, uh, if you if you have questions after this meeting or anytime during the construction, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my contact information is uh, provided on the screen. Uh, I will also uh, say it loud for people who are on the phone. Uh, my name is uh, Salman Shahid again. I'm the project manager. 
Uh, my phone number is 817 392 7968. Uh, my email address is salman.shahid at Please feel free to contact me, call me, or email me if you have any questions uh, or concerns. So, if you don't have any questions, I will just adjourn the meeting over here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for attending. I have a great evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Salman. Thank you.